Well, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about four different stocks today. We're going to be going over Ultramar for Anand Girder, Tesla for Bruce, KULR and IQST for right now. And that is the list. Those are the people who requested it. I'm going to pause the music. Let's get into this. Let's do this. All right. So Ultramar looking like it's finding a bounce, man. Looking good. Yeah. Looking pretty damn good. Off your oversold zone too, huh? Kind of in there. Curious. I'm curious to see, man. Let's look at the daily. It's a good look, guys. It's a good look. You're going to want to get ab above about 390 bucks. If you can do that, then you might be breaking this uh, downtrend, this little consolidation phase here, which you, you honestly might be doing, man. Let's see. I'd even go a step above and say 410 is going to be a crit critical level, but relatively speaking, 390 is also something to get excited about. If you can break above 410 on this pass, 506, 566, your next targets. I like the way it looks, man. I think you're moving up. I think you are. I think you're moving up to the land of the 500s, man. Looking good. Let's talk about Tesla. Um, I did not hear about the news. Uh, Bruce, I know you're asking me. You said that there was some big news that was coming out apparently today. Maybe it was yesterday. I don't know what the news was, but uh, it doesn't seem to be good. We're down 5%. I know a lot of people are bearish on... Man, I'm up so late that we got the pre-market prices going. Uh, a lot of people seem to, be, seem to be bearish on Tesla, so it probably finds a relative bounce here. You probably move up. You're at about 166. You probably move up to about like 180, 175, somewhere in that area. If not, the, I mean, you could dump from here too. Just because the news is bearish doesn't mean you have to dump, but I do think Tesla wants to inevitably work its way down, whether it goes up in the immediate term or not. I think you're working your way down to about 153 to 142 somewhere in there 153 142 somewhere around there is where you're working your way if not you'll go lower 128 to 115 but let's look at 153 to 142 for the time being that's tesla let's talk about k-u-l-r wow well that's nice that's uh that's that's pretty neat pretty nifty Neat, man. That that word makes me cringe, guys. Yeah, you're working your way up to 95 cents to a dollar 23. In that range, man. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You got your dollar 23, right there. This right here, the moving average, the, the green line is the one two three moving average. The one two three is in line with a dollar 23. Isn't that beautiful? I love that serendipity. Which, by the way. The number 69 is a number for more or less like serendipity, uh, essentially, beyond the innu innuendos. Yeah, you're looking good, bro. Very hot, looking like you want more. I'm going to guess 95 cents to $1.23. That's where you're going. Looking good for the time being, but you probably, you know, it, all good things come to an end at some point. So just be prepared for that. IQST. Also looking bullish. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Weird looking chart though. Really weird looking chart. But to be fair, for the time being, you do look bullish. I wouldn't hold this for the long term, but the intermediate term, the midterm, the short term, you know, that's fine. You're at 38.4 cents now. You probably do move up. Yeah, that's a nice look, guys. You you probably move up to about 44 to 63 cents. I, I think you do move up to 63 cents. You could go even higher, but uh, 44 to 63 cents is where you want to go immediately, like more or less immediately, so good job. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got to say, guys. So if you like the video, I know it was a short one, but those, those are relatively easy to go over. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Mm,